Hey, what's going on everyone? Thunuch here. Welcome back to my channel. So I was just talking with one of my friends uh, on Facebook and we were discussing some really interesting topics and it really inspired me to make a video. And this is some stuff that I wanted to talk about anyway. So I thought I would just, you know, go ahead and record this today. I was actually filming an Aerokinesis video, but uh, the footage ended up really looking like crap. So I decided to just scrap that and make this video. So what we were talking about is basically what is Veil? Now, Veil is a very popular concept, and um, a lot of people have, you know, known about it in mythology and stuff, and, you know, New Age, but Veil is actually a concrete thing that can be experienced and um, basically broken through. So, a lot of people, when you take DMT or, like, psychedelics and stuff, they talk about how they went through the Veil, or they saw the Veil, or they experienced things behind the Veil. So, Veil is basically a limitation upon your senses, and whether that be your, your sight, your, your taste buds, your uh, smell, your hearing, your ability to sense energy, all of these things. This is all Veil. So, let's say you had a capacity of 100%. Well, right now you'd probably be operating around 1% or maybe half a percent. So there's all these uh, veils of frequencies that are existing within the cosmos, within the universe, that are being cloaked from your perception because your your information unit or your soul doesn't have enough data to be able to support all of that information. So it cannot read these frequencies. So once you open up your, your system and your energy system and you upgrade your system, you start to be able to access more and more layers of veil and um, you start to see reality in a very different manner. So what exactly changes? Well... As you raise your vibration and as you increase your soul, um, your soul's knowledge, things start to become at a higher frequency, meaning that right now um, you most likely perceive reality to be a solid physical um, you know, construct. Well, as you get higher and higher in frequency, things start to actually become more and more fluid, more and more, um, yeah, fluid I, I guess is the right word. So things will start to breathe, things will start to, uh, you know, go in and out, kind of like zoom in and out, um, things are more fluid, they're not necessarily as solid as they were, that's w one of the reasons why you can actually move energy and stuff, and that's why you can actually pull air currents and, you know, met, uh, work with air currents and stuff, because it's all just energy, so even if you got to, like, you could get to some of the highest levels of uh, a vibration and then you could probably walk through walls and stuff and teleport and all kinds of stuff like that because at the end of the day this is not a physical reality it's only your vibration that's at such a low level which makes it seem like it's physical whereas it's actually um, a digital hologram and what happens is when you unlock more and more veil you start to see more and more light spectrums and as well as hear more uh, auditory spectrums and stuff like that but for the the uh, the light spectrums, basically you start to see all of these these colors and these grids and these um, I guess you would call them intelligences that are overlaid on top of the physical light spectrum. So right now most people see just the physical light spectrum, and then as you you know activate your pineal gland, which is your third eye or whatever, so you awaken your third eye, quote unquote. Um, you start to see more spectrums of light. You start to see people's energy fields. Uh, you start to be able to see different interdimensional beings. And um, it's not something that, you know, personally I'm always tuned into. But if I do certain breathing techniques and if I meditate or if I'm practicing, then it starts to open back up. So it's like a process where you open it up and then you close it down. You open it up, you close it down. And... Um, one thing that we were talking about, me and my friend, was this, uh, these concepts of the watchers, quote unquote. And these are these intelligences that I've met many times. A lot of people have met them. Um, there's a lot of stories, you know, on the internet and stuff about these this intelligence that basically when you cross over to the other side of the veil, they greet you and they say welcome. And they, they're uh, speaking with you. And what, well, what are the watchers? Well, the watchers... It's very hard uh, to describe because they, first of all, they don't give any information about themselves. So all the information that you have is about what you experience and you have to bring back information from your experiences. It's not like you, you see them and then they're immediately like, oh, we are this, 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 and we ex will explain everything about um, 
ourselves. It's more like these these watchers are more like um, if you had a video game, if you're in a video game, the developers. So I would I would consider the watchers to be the developers or at least the admins. They may not be the actual creators of this reality, but they may be the admins or the police or the patrol system, basically the guardians, whatever you want to call it of this reality. So when a person crosses crosses certain thresholds of veil, they're immediately dispatched and they um they, they you know they pump in their numbers and then they can see you and interact with you. So if you cross certain levels of veil then they're immediately uh alerted and then they um come and check out what the dis uh this disturbance is because humans are actually put here for a certain reason and that reason is because they're not meant to cross to the other sides of the veil with the, the energy signatures that they have because uh, most people carry a lot of negative and dense energies and they don't want those energies escaping. So in a certain way, this is a prison, but I wouldn't call it a prison. It's more like a rehab facility or a uh, mental institute. <laughs> That's probably a better, better terminology for it. So the watchers, they basically come in through very they look very different um it's hard to describe what they look like but sometimes they'll look like just geom uh geometric shapes um most of the time they they come in with eyes so when you sometimes when i'm meditating i will see eyes everywhere either with my eyes closed or if i open my eyes i'll see eyes literally everywhere and everywhere i look it's an eye looking at me and that is the watcher's signal that is like their um you know, their eye that they're looking through. And this is obviously an energetic or astral eye. It's not a physical eye. But then again, you have to realize that there's no such thing as physical and that's the point. So it's just a different light spectrum. So technically it is physical. It's just on a different wavelength. So um, what is their purpose? Well, they're basically just uh, observing reality. They study humans and they report information and you know they're just growing and they're also maintaining this reality by uh, doing certain functions and I don't pretend to know those functions I have no clue but I know that the the times that I've met them that there's many 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 different types prop uh, like I don't know how many but there's many different types and not all of them look the same not all of them have the same energy system but um, they go all the way down from very tiny, tiny beings to massive galactic level uh, levels of soul mass. And some of the beings that I met, that I've met or just at least had a glimpse of, they were so large in their level of energy that it felt like I was in the presence of a god. And I don't really, you know, like the word god, but just a massive creator, massive creator being, like a superior being that was just so intelligent and so much more in tune. I mean, these beings are massive, some of them. And then you have the smaller ones, which are uh, still very intelligent, but they're not as um, mature or whatever you want to say. You know, so there's different ranks and levels, but in their perspectives, they don't see anything as higher or lower. They simply see things as... Um, all an extension of the one consciousness and all different souls and energies at different levels. So as far as when I started to see them and when I started to interact with them, um, that's really hard to say because I'm pretty sure I had some interactions with them when I was a kid um, in, in dreams and in the physical, although I can't be sure uh, exactly when because I, I know I remember used to see I used to see energy and stuff like that all the time when I was a kid. So it's hard for me to say, but I know that I, I really was introduced to their presence uh, last year um, or not last year, this year actually. It's almost gonna be last year. this year around March or so. So that was like a big turning point when I really really was introduced to their energy and I knew exactly what they were and I saw them everywhere and they were watching me kind of like I was like this monkey in a cage that had broken free temporarily and was just bewildered by what he was seeing so I remember that that experience was crazy and I when I saw all of those different levels of be the beings and the watchers and stuff 
and all of this veil starting to drop that um that was definitely a pivotal moment in my training and then after that I kind of um you know I would see them occasionally here and there and it would be it was very interesting because then they would start to pop into my meditations so when I was meditating I would, I would feel them around me and I would see them and then sometimes I would just be in nature and as I said this is a this is a veil there's veil over everything so once you understand that reality is this digital hologram things can literally pop through the veil at any time and after I after I had those first initial experiences with them they would start to pop through the veil if I would think about them really hard or just you know wonder like where they are or try to try to uh, interact with their energy almost every single time they would come they would come through and look at me and so I'd be seeing them and they'd be looking at me and it wasn't really much interaction or anything but I would see that they're there and feel their presence and sometimes when I go into really deep meditations and even dream states like I just explained a dream that I had last couple nights ago um, you know they'll they'll come in and they'll interact with me and they'll show me different things and uh, that's another way I get to experience them and yeah just different meditations and stuff will be a very um, it's a prominent time that they will come and sometimes you know they will not interact with me at all so it's been sometimes it's it'll go like a couple weeks or something and I won't have any interaction with them at all or sense them at all but then if I uh, focus and I try to communicate with them then they will communicate back and as far as how they actually they don't talk they don't use words they download information kind of like how you would download information into a USB so they don't need to waste time explaining things if I had a like I would have a question like I would uh I remember I asked this one being I just thought in my head like huh I wonder what happens if you would open up your energy signature and it was this massive massive like galactic level being and as soon as I thought that he just showed me what to do so he would he went with his hands like this his hands were like this and all he did was just open up his energy field just a little bit and when he did that I felt this ripple of energy and this like tidal wave of energy just come out of him and it, then it hit me and I was like oh my god he was like dimensions away from me but his energy was so strong that just him moving his hands just a little bit he just wanted to show me like look how much you know look how much energy that it's it's possible for a being to hold and humans are just so so far down the totem pole and even if you you know train your whole life or whatever you're still going to be very very down the totem pole compared to some of these uh, interdimensional beings that are that have just trained, you know, and are connected 24-7. That's their life. That's their reality. So, yeah, I mean, I think I explained everything I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to touch on Veil vale and uh, touch on the, the entities or the Watchers. And uh, I'm probably going to make more videos on this topic because I'm sure a lot of you guys will have questions and stuff. And um, what I want you guys to do is if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I will make a video explaining all the questions and answering them to the best of my ability. So if you enjoyed this video, please sure to click the like button and subscribe if you have not already. And check out some of the links in the description, the DMT course. Um, that's primarily responsible for how I actually see these beings and interact with them. The techniques in, the, in that course. And uh, check out my Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. So thank you guys very much for watching and much, much love. Peace.